Hi guys. See, there are three of you on here. Hello, my sis. Hi, Jen. Hi, Rick Akins. Good evening. I have a little bit of a cold. So if you hear me sniffling, I'm sorry. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Jenny. That's how um, my aunt used to spell her name, just like yours. Her real name was Virginia, and we called her Aunt Jenny, and that's how she spelled her name with the G. Thank you. Okay, so there's the 11 of you guys on, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this is our, my name is Nicole Peterson, I'm the owner, along with my husband, Matthew Peterson. Um, we own Picket Fence Studios, which is a stamp, die, and stencil company in South Louisiana. We've been open for about five years, or it'll be five years, I think. In, no, it'll be six years in March. Yeah, I'm horrible with dates and names. I wish I was better. Okay, so I know everyone is probably still making their Christmas cards. I haven't even started yet. I'm one of those Christmas card makers that I like to literally be in the month of December when I um, when I make my Christmas cards. So we have what I um, we, we're calling this is kind of vintage nostalgic kind of. Um, release. It started, I was inspired for this release about a year ago, because that's about how long it takes for me to put something, all of it together. When, um, so it actually started about a year ago when, I don't know what it was, but I was thinking, I was thinking about how when I was a kid and even into my teenage years, my mom and my grandmother and my great grandmother and my great aunt, um, they loved garage sales. And I can't tell you how many garage sales my sister and brother and I were dragged to. Um, and my mom was really into collecting all kinds. She pretty much collected everything. I mean, any kind of little doodad or vase or pictures or books. And it's funny, you would think that that would, you know, maybe not inspire me to make a die set of it. However, my mom had this special shelf that traveled all over the country with us um, from Louisiana to Wyoming, back to Louisiana, to Oklahoma, back to Louisiana, to Texas, and then back to Louisiana. And I think it must have moved, <coughs> excuse me, um, no less seven or eight times, maybe even more like 10, seriously. And she loved this thing. And, you know, she would take it down and put it back together. And my mama used to call it a Chotsky shelf. Do y'all remember that? Chotsky? Um, or you can call it a knickknack shelf. So anyway, I don't know what it was. I just was thinking about this, you know trying to think of what I wanted to release in 2023, about a year ago. And this is what popped into my head. So this is called, and I'm gonna come back to this, but this is called Scene Building Mama's 1980 Chotsky Collection Die Sets. I'm gonna turn it over on the back to make it easier for you guys. And you can see, this is on the back of it. You can see better how it has this, it's not really an entertainment center per se, um, but it's more like a, it was like a shelf system. I, I don't, maybe modular, but it, it was dark, dark brown. And I always had to dust it, <laughs> which you would think would make me, you know, not want to remember it because I was always having to dust it. However, you never know. So I'm going to, so this, that is how this collection started. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you the fun cards real quick. I'll show you for this first. 
So here's a beautiful one named Brenda, and she went with really bright colors, and um, they are pink, orange, and yellow. They're just gorgeous. And you see these cute little pots? You're going to see those later, too. All right, then we have another card, which um, this was actually, this stamp set is an older stamp set. And at Create in, I don't know, I think it was March or April, um, I wanted to do a card with this with this um, little girl again, because I just love her. And then always um, this sentiment, a good cup of coffee shared with a good friend is happiness tasted and time well spent. So th this actual girl is a remake. She, the other one was a lot smaller, so she's a lot bigger. So you can see here, we do have a little coffee um, themed, but that's because we also have a, what do they call this? A 1970s coffee cup. And not only about you, but this is what my grandmother's coffee cup looked like, right? Like the whole little straight edge on it. And it, it was a it was a small coffee cup. It wasn't like one of our giant mugs that we have nowadays. And you're going to be amazed how um, Brenda created this. And then going right along with what things were in my house when I was a kid, my mom also was into macrame. And she really enjoyed plants. and you know, all kinds of different, she's very, I guess that's where I get my taste from. I'm very eclectic with what I like also. And um, that's how I think my dad's side of the family all was. So here you'll see um, this wonderful dye that I created. That's um, macrame, uh, we'll get to the names. And then here, we have to have some scene release because it's been a while since we were able to release anything that wasn't like Christmas or Halloween related. So since we were already working on some elements that I thought went well, um, I decided I was going to do my very first critter um, die cut set. So when I get to this, I'll show you that all of this is no stamping. It's 100% just different color card set stock. And then also these fun little um, logs and dens. And you can see we also have some new high. And she used our moon set that was from Halloween. Good job, Brenda. And then a couple of weeks ago, I actually was able to go on a retreat with my sister and my friend Dawn, who is on here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the cards that I made. So here's one, it's called, be sure to frequently wet your pants. And here I used the, our new stencil that we're going to be showing tonight. And these girls actually, what they think they released in May and they are called from the stamp set, um, the best dirt. And they just really went well with this whole release. So when I was making cards myself, um, I definitely made sure to bring these two with me so that way I could have sentiments I wanted to play with and um, some little characters. Now, we also have our very first wreath building set. Now, we're not coming out with a wreath builder tool. They have enough tools for wreath building on the website. I mean, out there already. You can use GK stencil and, or we actually carry um, the Altenew stamp wheel. So here is another card that I made, and you'll see that I did it in a wreath configuration, and I did use the Altenew stamp wheel. This was so much fun, so much fun. Now, I went a little ridiculous with the coloring, okay? I did not need to go in and color each little, you know, pot in like this, but like I said, I was with my sister and one of my best friends, so I was just kind of, you know, I was relaxed, and I had time, and I had uh, dragged all my Copics all the way to Mississippi. <laughs> I have better color, right? So this is called Get Well. I actually have someone who's probably going to get this card this week, and then I have two more, and then we're going to start... So here, this is called Gardeners Know the Best Dirt. And this sentiment is also from the same exact stamp set that's called The Best Dirt. Um, it's up on the website. It does have a stamp and die. It's called The Best Dirt. So right here, this is, again, our stencil of the, the, this month. It's called Simply Plaid. 
And you can also see, if you see the green, that is one of our luxes for this month. It is called I, Olive U, O-L-I-V-E-U, and it is the color olive. And then here, this is one of our favorite dyes this month. Pretty much everyone jumped on the bandwagon of the design team members. This is called Happy Fern. And it's just the perfect size little fern to, um, to add to a card. Now, I, again, I was hanging out with my friends, so I did go a little overboard with the coloring of this. I first started using um, paper pouncers and ink, and then um, I came back over it. You can see, I came back over it with, um, what do they call it? Oh, no. Those little palette things that are made out of powder. Ah. Okay, I came over it again with some colored powder and I used my paper pouncers and I even used the blending brush to get this beautiful dark edge going down the middle of these ferns. So I just had a really good time. And then of course I had to turn it into a shaker. And the last card I made, which believe it or not, I'm still not done with this. This is completely different style. <laughs> I made both of these cards, completely different style, right? This I would say is much more um, mixed media, or you could say, I wouldn't even say grungy because I just, you know, had a blast. Just kind of went crazy. I did all kind of flicking with our um, paper splatter. And I used that same beautiful, I love that happy fern dye. And then we also have a new dye called Hello There. It's actually called Hello There again. And I even used some twine. How about that? And this right here is, when I show you this, you're gonna be like, Nicole, how, that, what, that's the same thing? Yes, so you see this background here, these beautiful, delicate, white brick walls. Well, what I did, and so she used them here. So what I did, again, cause I was hanging out with my friends and I just wanted to play, right? I took a set of white pouncers and I bought Catherine Pooler's new met three metallic inks. So I took a new set of white pouncers. So I'm gonna have one white pouncer for metallic gold, one for um, metallic silver, silver, and another one for champagne. Those are the three colors. And what I did is I pounced on top of this delicate dye. Then I went back and heat embossed with clear embossing powder. It was just so super fun. Such a different look, but still yet the same frogs. All right, guys, so let's go ahead, because we do have a lot to go over. Um, let's go ahead and start with our stamps. Slide this back in there. So, okay, so those of you coming along, my name's Nicole Peterson. I'm the owner designer along of uh, Pick a Fence Studios, along with my husband, Matt. We are in South Louisiana, and we are a manufacturer that sells retail and wholesale. Okay, so this is called Coffee Understands Again, and you can see she's big. She fits beautifully on the A2 card front, but a lot of the um, sentiments that I had used in the other stamp set, because this is no, the, the original one like this is no longer available, but this one is available, and look, guys, you have all the dyes for the sentiments. Yay! The last time um, we did this, I mean, she was like, her whole, imagine her head to her feet. That's how big she was. And none of the um, sentiments had dyes and none of this energy. I can tell you the design team loves, loves playing around with this heart and this circle. So much fun. So this is called Coffee Understands Again, and it does come with a stamp set as well as the matching dyes. Okay. Then we have another one. We're talking about going back in time, right? So my the reason why I did the coffee is because of my grandmother and great-grandmother. They would sit around the table all the time. My grandmother would bring coffee with her in her thermos whenever we'd go on all these garage sales. And my grandmother even had wallpaper in her house, but it was mushrooms. <laughs> So this is kind of like a throwback to my past and who I just love mushrooms. I mean, who doesn't love them? And what's cool about mushrooms, you can use them in the fall. The guys spring is right around the corner, right? Spring is right around the corner. And this ugh, is going to be all over my cards for sure. So this is called field of mushrooms and it is a six by six. All right. Then we have two 
three by four sentiment sets. These are always very popular. And my mother-in-law who runs our warehouse um, asked me to make new ones of this because she, um, we had sold out of what we had left and I told her I would just reorder. And she's like, no, 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 just make new ones. So these are for her. So this one says, thank you. It has a beautiful little um, flower and it says, thanks. One size thanks. And then here, a smaller size thanks. Now they don't have die set. They don't have dies, but this is just a really inexpensive little set. That would be great. If you have a, um, a friend who stamps and you want to get them a gift for Christmas, I think it retails at $8.99. Very, very inexpensive. And then we have another one called Get Well again. So we have Get Well, and this is a really nice size, Get Well. And it says Get Well, and then it says Get Well. So there's three Get Wells on there. Yes, and it does, it does not have a dog. Now, let me show you our very first wreath builder. Now, you know, guys, I say wreath, um, but I, I didn't, it's not a square. I didn't make mine into a square card. I just used an A2 card front and the Altenew stamp wheel and just picked shorter ones to go in the middle, taller ones, no, I'm sorry, taller ones to go on, on the inside, smaller and shorter to go on the outside. And I just made sure that whatever I was putting stayed within my A2 card front. I wasn't really worried about if it was a six by six or anything like that. It was just really fun, really fun and simple. And what lady would not want to get this card, right? Hi. So here's what the stamp set looks like. And it comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 flowers, 17 pots. And guys, the design team, I mean, they just went nuts over these pots. I honestly would have never thought that such um small little pots like this would have made them so happy but i would say at least one or two of them um make at least one or two of their cards you can go check them out on the website um use these pots in things they're just so so super cute all right so this is meant to be a wreath builder however you can use the images however you like and let me show you my card again did i just not show it to you Oh, here it is. So here's the card that I made using it as a wreath builder. Obviously, you can use it for other things too, right? Okay, now we're going to get into dyes. This dye is called 1970s coffee cup dye. Now, I was born in the early 1970s. And like I said, this is what my great grandmother and my great aunts and my grandmother, it's very similar to this. They all had their own like set at their houses. However, um, pretty much it was like this coffee cup that was very like straight across the handle and had some kind of flowery thing in the very center. And yes, we do have a beautiful sample from Brenda. So this is Brenda's card, right? And it, it does come with a shadow. It does come with a shadow. And anytime you have, you can make any dye into a, um, a, a, a shape size die by just folding your paper in half and allowing the top edge to not die cut. It's very, very simple. So here we go. It's beautiful. And she used some of our new paper behind it. And there's that beautiful get well. All right. Now, the next thing we have, let me show you. So I've already shown you this, right? the Mama's 1980 Chotsky Collection die set. Okay, so it already shows you this, right? Here's the base of it, let me turn it over. Here's the base, right? And it shows you what every little die is, okay? Every little die, and it has 39 dies in here, 39 dies. And it even comes with the words home, hi, hey, hello. Very, very, very fun. I didn't get a chance to make this yet, only because I've been super busy. But guys, we have a product that I'm going to show you tonight that would make this a dream. So easy. So because this really didn't have sentiments on it, um, I came out with a stamp set called Mama's Thoughts. And this is what it says. This is a three by four. The only things easier to talk to than you are my plants. Thanks for the great memories. You are on my vintage mind. <laughs> I feel like I could send that to everyone. Sending you happy thoughts. 
Thanks for watering my plants. Good days gone by, but not forgotten. And they're all like in a straight um, sentence strip because I don't know, when I was thinking about this in a sentiment, I thought like the TV goes here and let me turn it this way. The TV goes here. And I thought a sentiment strip going right there across the bottom or even across underneath the Chotsky uh, shelf would be really nice. See, that's that's what I was thinking, that I would want to put a, um, a straight strip right there. So um, I'm so grateful we got to grow up together, you know, for our sisters and brothers. Memories of our childhood home are on my mind. Vintage vibes remind me of you. And one day we will look back and laugh at today's problems. So it's a very, um, it's a very general stamp sentiment set. However, I don't know about you, but I, I can think of every, one of every person in my life that I could send this to just at a moment's notice because they all are just, they work, right? Okay, so this sentiment set is for this for these two sets, not, I created it to go along and also with your coffee, okay? Just so you had something to go with if you were gonna follow our vintage theme. Now here's another dye set that's called Macrame Pots, Pots and Flora Dyes. Okay guys, this is so much fun. Let me find Brenda's card. I didn't get a chance to do it yet, but look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh, isn't that just, I mean guys, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And you know, what's cool about this dye is if you didn't want to do a lot of ink blending, you could take out um, pattern paper and you could die cut. The, this is the pot. Wait, do I have one back? This is the pot right here. Okay. If you didn't want to color that pot, go find a piece of your favorite pattern paper that you haven't used in a while and cut that pot out of pattern paper. Right. And then same thing. If you don't want it, you know, ink the leaves and things. Again, go find some pattern paper. I know we all have pattern paper for this. Now, I personally do want to use my paper pouncers, but I might cheat, not cheat. I might find a piece of pattern paper when I make this for the pots. So this is called Macrame Pots and Flora Dyes. So it comes with a large, but it does, if you look, it fits perfectly on an A2 card front. So here's her top. And here's her bottom. And she actually has this layered. So it's on, it's not even, it's on top of a smaller, of a smaller layer than an A2 card front. Okay, so it has two ferns. They're both going in different directions, because that to me that's important. You have um, another two set of leaves. Again, they're going in opposite directions. Because you know, if you're if you're making a flower arrangement, you need one to go this way and one to go that way, all kinds of ways. Here are two tropical leaves in opposite directions. And here is an even larger, these two are larger wreaths of the smaller version here. Now, I love this type of plant where it looks like it's a bird right here on top of it. So we did have a stamp set, gosh, it, guys, it was like four or five years ago and it's been discontinued, but I have been wanting a reason to bring back this type of bird of paradise. That's what it is, bird of paradise. And if you've ever seen bird of paradise flowers in California, guys, the heads are like this big. I mean, they're just ginormous and they truly look like there's an eye and it, an, a, a, a beak, and it looks like there's a bird sitting there. So fun. And then right here too are two fun um, other leaves that you can add as well. You can actually take this, and there is a type of flower where you can um, color this like in an ombre because it gets darker towards the bottom. I don't know the name of it though. And then towards the top, that might be, I think Bird of Paradise is one of my favorite flowers. Okay, so we have here macrame pots and flora dyes. So you can obviously tell now where I was getting some of my vibes, right? Oh, and my mushrooms. <laughs> and wait, oh, don't forget her too, right? I'm not done. I was just trying to show you guys how that this all works together. Okay, then we come back to, oh wait, in here also, here is that scene building falling brick dye. This dye pretty much can be behind anything. You know, it dye cuts. It's a very integral, thin little dye. However, um, I'm about to show you something. 
that is makes this so incredibly easy and fun. And you can gunk this up. If you want, you could even use this for a trellis, like make it brown and put some of these leaves coming out of it to make it look like it's a garden scene, all kinds of fun things. So this is called Scene Building Die Falling Brick Wall. All right, now let me show you, oh, let me kind of run away for that. Okay, so then another thing that we have, this is Layering Flora Happy Fern Die. Now guys, this fern, <laughs> Apparently it makes everyone happy because it was the very first thing I wanted to reach for. Okay. You see our stencil this month also simplified it was the very first one I wanted to reach for. And I mean, this thing die cuts beautifully. If you want to cut it in half, very easy. A breaking point is right there where you can just slice it right there after you die cut it, of course. And then you can use part of it or all of it. I actually used do you see how it has these, these are ferns. So it has these little shoots that are breaking off. Well, I did, I die cut two of them and I put the inside shoots on the inside of my shaker. Do you see that? Isn't that fun? So the inside of my shaker, I cut part of this die off and stuck it on the inside. Okay, so this is called Happy, Layering Floor Happy Fern Die. Then, one of our most hottest selling stamps ever is a stamp called Hello There, T-H-E-R-E. -E. You know, it was a very simple one day, like me just thinking, oh, we need a new hello. Let's do Hello There. Okay. Well, I didn't really, I wasn't planning for it to be a big hit or anything like that. It just kind of happened. And let me in on, let me tell you something. I'm one of those few people, I love surprises. I love surprises. So it makes me really happy when it's something from PFS. So this is called Hello There. And it's two words, okay? They're not connected. All of the letters for there, all the there, the letters are correct, uh, connected. And then hello, it's one die, but they come apart. They're not actually together. So here's the there. I used it on this card. But my problem was I had so much other stuff on here that I couldn't get that hello to fit. So I went find another teeny tiny little hello and I just used the there. And if you see that, you see how it's gliss how it's shining? That is our um oh that's our brown bear, brown bear foil. And I had been wanting to use it on something. This was like perfect for it. And a lot of you might have this hello because this was inside of this another set. Um, I couldn't tell you what though, but it might have been like a slimline set or something like that. So you might even have this hello. So you can see here, I didn't use the, he the hello because I needed a smaller one. But let me find Brenda's. Brenda used the whole entire thing on her card. And look, it's a really good size to be the very central center point. Thank you, Amy. That means a lot coming from you. This makes it the center point or the center, yeah, point, the focus of your card. So it's big enough to take up a lot of card space, not a lot, a good amount of card space, but you can also still put other things on. And you see she used those little flowering pots, I told you, that um, apparently come in handy to fill in little spaces. All right, so we have hello there. And again, it's two separate dies. So there is connected. And when you die cut it, the word there stays together. The hello is one die. However, it does fall, it comes apart. And you can see here that the, each one of those letters are actually individually. So if you think about it, it, it could very easily be considered two separate dies, you know, one for the price of, two for the price of one, you know. Okay, then we have, okay, so I've been needing a new, um, a new high for some reason, I don't know why. And then everyone's always begging me to do howdy. So this month, since we had the thanks, get well, hello there, we had tons of dyes, right? I wanted to go ahead and release another die. Now these do not have shadows, but I wanted to release a die that was about hi. So hi, hey, hello, and howdy. Because <laughs> we have, I have a lot of people in Texas and Oklahoma, just in the South all together, right? 
that um, we all say howdy, hey, you know, hi, hello. We're not always so formal. So this is four dies, guys. And let's see, did anybody, do I have one? Um, yes, this card again. So you can see how nice this, the size is. I would, it's not a small die. It's not a medium die. I would say it's between eh, a small and to a medium. So let me put my finger on it. It's that big. So if you look at your finger, it's about that much. That's how big it is. Now it might be a little bit smaller because, yeah, so it is a little bit smaller. So it's more like that, but it's a good size. And then, so you can see they fit nicely onto a card front and they work well, they do good. And they're all vintage. Okay, so that's all the Samson guys. Whew. It's always so much to get through, right? That's all the Samson dies. Don't go away because we got we still have a lot left. Okay, here is the stencil that I've been talking about the whole entire time, and it is called Simply Plaid. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Oh, sorry, Brenda, that was for Amy. <laughs> it's okay. So funny. I need to read all the comments and not just the one at one time. So this is called Simply Plaid. And guys, it, it is just one of those perfect, keep on your desk, grab it to add a little bit of background to it, and you're good. I think I used this, I think I did six cards at my sister's house, at my sister's house, and I had this stencil on all six cards, right? Oh, oh, the foxes. I skipped the fox. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Where did I put them? Fox, where did you go? Okay, here we are. Okay, so there's this, there's simple, simple plaid, but we are not done with dyes. We are, um, we do have quite a few dyes this month, which is why I came out with the hi, hey, hello, howdy, and the hello there, because we have a lot of standalone dyes. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is called Layered Fauna, and it plays fauna playful fox dies okay so i'm gonna go up quick no no because it's gonna freak out okay so what you're going to see is you have the back for this box you have the back for this box every this one and this one these two go together these two and these two now the this die this die right here when you die cut it, it's going to fall, it's gonna, you're gonna see it, it's gonna come out in teeny, in, in little pieces. And I don't mean teeny tiny, like, you know, they're, they're all small, however, they're very simple to put back. So let me show you this. Okay, so the body comes out as one die. The body comes out in, as one piece, then a tiny little tail, the face comes out, and then, you can either color your eyes and your nose black, or you can use the little pieces for it. And then you have the ears. So really, truly, it might look like it's a lot of work, but you know what? Honestly, it puts some, I would put glue on the back of my backing of this and then take a, a, a pickup tool and pick up the first part, like put the, put the head down, right? And then wedge in the little face and then come back and put the body. You know, in my day, this was called paper piecing. <laughs> Me too, Denise. This is called paper piecing. And crafting has come a long way since it was just paper piecing where everything was cut apart and then it was just, it's different. So I don't want you to be um, scared that this is a whole bunch of work because they really are not. Some of them have feet, little white feet. Um, and again, if you look here, you just, you, you have the backing. So since you have the backing, yes, always, Amy. I learned that a long time ago. I, I, I think this needs to have backing. Um, so those little bitty white paws right there, even though they might come out on this fox, they're still not that big of a deal because you have the backing. And as long as you start either from the top to the bottom, or bottom to top, you're gonna to be just fine. Yes, so I'm, I'm very happy. I love dogs and I love fox. 
uh, boxes. I just, and this is a beautiful card that um, Brenda did. Okay, so we have the playful um, fox, you know, which go, could go with a happy fern. It could go, you know, so many things that these foxes can go with. However, I always, always, always like to have some kind of scene building die that goes along with a critter, okay? So, and they, these might look like they're alike, but they're completely different. So this is actually, I call them dens, okay? So where you could actually come and put, like Brenda has here, she has the little, oh wait, sorry. So you can come and put your fox underneath this die cut and have its head poking out to where it looks like he's peeking out at you from a den. Yeah, hold on. All right, so these are meant to be dens. If you wanna lay them down, that's fine. You can actually even stack them, put one on top of the other and put one fox peeking out here and another fox, you can actually do three and have little foxes poking their little heads out at you. Then you have logs, okay? So, and these are all going to put very, like, intricate um, embossing onto your intricate, uh, yeah, embossing, like little embossing lines that give you detail. So these are logs, meaning they're meant to, like, you know, lay down sideways on something. Um, you can see here she has her log here, and she actually has, and here, she, instead of putting the fox in the den, she put them on top of the den. So, you know, they work, but they work both ways. So we have all of our fox, and look, it doesn't have a sentiment set. However, you have hello there, <laughs> hi, howdy. I mean, there's so many other little... Um, you can even use some of these that are on this uh, mama's thoughts, you know, like thanks for watering the plants or vintage vibes remind me of you, depending on who you're sending it to, right? So I'm super happy that that came out really well. And I'm very grateful for, to my design team for making lovely cards that I can show off to you guys. Okay, so hang on, because after this, I, I got, okay, guys. Let's talk about our foiling paper this month. Okay, we do not have a set of A2 white cards that are black where you can put foil on it and feed it through. We didn't come out with a set this month for that. However, what I did is I came out with three paper packs, okay? So let me show you this one. So, because I have these open, I don't want to open these because I end up with like five packs open at my house and I just really, okay. So what I'm going to be showing you is actually two sets um, because for this, this set, okay, this is not called, um, they're not meant for foiling. Now, can you foil on top of these with your trash? absolutely positively grab whatever you want and you can you can foil on top of this okay so it's totally up to you if you want to use them for card fronts or um foil on top of them i can tell you remember anywhere that it's light the foil is not going to pick up okay and that's what i talked about last time is that with toner it takes a, um quite a lot of toner powder to dry on top of your paper for the foil to stick so this yellow will pick it up but when you come down here to these white lines it's not going to pick up the foil okay so here's one pattern so in this pack you get three patterns but you get four of three of them so here's pattern one and then we have keep going pattern two Okay, pattern two. They don't really have names, but here's one pattern. Here's another pattern. You're welcome, Jen, for her rainbows. And then last, you have kind of a abstract. It could be feathers. It could be water, whatever you wanted it to be. But these three patterns screamed at me and said, you must make them. And I do have that card from Brenda. And what Brenda did is the dot she took one of these pieces and used it behind the dies that cut out on the front of this um coffee cup is that not gorgeous 
And I know some people say, I don't like glossy paper. Guys, it's glossy paper, but it's not as glossy as some that we've had in the past as scrapbookers. It doesn't really, um, you know, what's bad about um, pattern paper, when you print it on regular paper, no matter what you do to it, it's going to be dull, right? You only get these vibrant, crazy colors with semi-glossy paper. So don't be held back that it's glossy paper. You know, try it out and see if you like it. This one, this one here is toner friendly, okay? And it's called, no, it's called Hues, Hues of a Rainbow. Okay, now there also is the pack that is eight and a half by 11. So here you're going to get, this is how I store them. Um, you're going to get six sheets in this pack. So you get three designs, two of each design. Okay, so six times two is 12, right? Okay, so he, and what, what I did is I took the energy from the A2 cards and I blew it up and made it into, I have four, it should only have two, um, and blew it up into a large piece of paper. So if you didn't want to use, it is very much more like a semi-gloss. Um, if you wanted, you know, you cut these up instead of using the whole entire thing, or I've had some people come and say, I just wanted to use this yellow, you know, and they cut that piece of yellow, right? My school teacher is showing, yeah, so you're right here you will see it's the pattern that we had before right but it's been blown up so you have a choice and again this is the last pattern now this one um, has those see how light that yellow is that yellow is not going to pick up toner okay guys so be prepared for that that this when you when you put toner your toner negatives on it what's left over it's not going to transfer to this white but that's okay because we're using what's left over the negative and if we didn't use it this way it basically would be trash right okay so that is um cues of a rainbow eight and a half by eleven now we have our second one i love this one and you can guess why did i come out with this the fox and all the ferns. This also is toner cardstock. However, you can use it. Look at that. You can use, see how it's not like crazy glossy? I don't want to call out any companies, but there was a company not that long ago that had pattern paper and it was like over the top glossy. I mean, you just, it was too much. So this is called Cozy Rainbow Quilt and it comes with two sheets of three different designs. I did not make this one into A2 size. Um, I, you know, I'm just kind of playing around with making these eight and a half by 11 into A2 size. So you have two of this pattern, two of this one, and then two of this. It might look a little psychedelic, you know what I'm saying? But it's really not. If you want to go and look at the card samples that we put up, um, that I put up on the website, you'll be able to see just how good they are. Okay, now we do have, my, it looks like my computer's about to die, but that's okay. I can still talk without my computer. We have four Lux, guys. You ready for this? You're going to be very, very, very happy. We have, and these, well, let me talk about this one first. This is called Lux Olive You, okay? And guess what green it is? Olive green, yes. And this is so. This is Matt. Actually, you know Matt did these. Can you believe that? A husband did this. Look how and it's gorgeous. So he did such a good job. So I mean, not to just say my husband did a good job, but you know, and it's my son. I'm just saying. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And it's a true olive color. It's not too dark, not too light. It's a true green olive that you would find in the bottom of your um of your martini glass. Okay. So this is olive green. Now, we have come out with a, a shoot off or a, a subcategory, if you will, of paper lux. Everybody hold tight because I know some of you are gonna be jumping up and down because you just love lux so much. Um, Matt and I, we were working on this one in the lab one day. And um, 
we had some extra time and I, I begged and was like, come on, babe, please. I just want to test this one little thing that I have, any, an idea that I have. So he was like, sure, let's test it. So we came out with three colors that I call twinkle, I have to look it up. Ah, where are they? Twinkle lights. They're called twinkle lights. Believe it or not, there's three of them. So it is still called Paper Glaze Lux, but the subcategory is Twinkle Lights. This is Twinkle Lights Clear, okay? Clear, yeah, right? This is clear. Now, let's get this straight. Something can only be clear if you put it thin enough. So this right here, I wish you guys could see this better. This is the clear. Okay, it's gorgeous. Now you're saying, Nicole, I can't see the black. Well, that's because you put it on really, really thick. And you know, even when something's clear, if you put it on thick, it, it's gonna become opaque, right? I tested it on gray paper and I just put it really thin going across it and I could see the gray underneath it. And it was a light gray showing through a clear. And they're super, they're going to hold their shape. I mean, it's like crazy holding the shape. And they're just great. Then you're going to say, okay, you did clear. But clear is not as shiny as the silver. Ah, so we have Twinkle Light Silver. Such a good, amazing color. Just, oh. So good. And this one is called Twinkle Light Silver. Let me open it. Opening it might not show you. And the Twinkle Light Silver and the Twinkle Lights Clear, um, they actually, they don't look alike. I mean, they look alike, but they're both based on white. Um, but you can definitely see in the silver that it has flex. So this is not meant to be, okay? This is not meant. This is not meant to um, replace silver because it's not a solid silver, okay? It has flecks of silver glitter. It's not a true silver glitter lux. It gives you a totally different effect, okay? All right, now this might be able to help you. The last twinkling lights we have for tonight is gold, okay? Now, I know we just released a, a gold lux. I understand that. But this gold lux is not all gold. It's going to give you um, kind of like a, how could you say that? Hmm. It's going to give you spots that don't come out completely gold. I don't want to say it's more of a, um, more of a, a vintage gold it let me show you okay so here's matt i did this one also so if you look at it it's got glitter so it's gonna let me put it down okay but there are tons of samples of this on the website and it's not the same gold as the other gold that we just released because it actually you can see clear parts openings now they still have glitter there but they still have parts inside the heart that are not solid gold, okay? Um, they're, it's just beautiful. It's, you know, so pretty. All right, we have no secrets to talk about tonight, but guess what, guys? Guess what, babies? Y'all are gonna be so happy. We did not put this out today. This is, kind of, well, it's on the website, but we did not announce it, okay, today. There's a reason we did not announce this to the world yet, okay? But it's coming tomorrow. Guess what these are, guys? Let me have some guesses. Let me put this one next to this one and see if that gives you a little help. Does that help? This is your regular size paper pouncer, right? The big guy, right? And now we have the pint size. Look, they're baby pouncers. Look how little. And they're so cute and soft. So let me pull the two out together. So you can see, you can't, I mean, they're just 
one is so much bigger than the other and one is so much smaller. They're so cute. I mean, just unbelievably cute, right? Look at that. Same material. You still get a pod with each one. And these are on the website right now. But we, we didn't show them on our release yet because they were supposed to be in two weeks ago. But um, yes, uh, they are now coming in next week. So if you're going to order them this week, which you might want to because we have one store who really doesn't order from us that often, ordered 800 sets today. And that's a very, very small store. So I'm, um, you know, I, I usually don't tell you guys this, but I would get your order in. I, I would, if you want these, you need to order. Now, the, what colors do they come in? Okay, so it's the complete rainbow set. So it's the set that we originally came out with, with the first paper pouches. We put them in order. So it's a set of nine, right? A set of nine that match the set of nine regular paper pouches. Amy, have you already ordered these? <laughs> and then it's at the set of the neutral. So it's gray, um, black, and brown. So just like, and I did use these. <laughs> these are the only prototypes we have. Look, they didn't even have our logo on them yet. Okay, that's how new they were. But um, the handle is still the color of the pod. You can still use your paper pound, your pod bottom to store your. Um, your base, the base of your paper pod. And in about two weeks, we have something else coming out that's even going to help you even more. So excited. Um, normally, companies don't come out with big things at the end of the year. However, you guys have been begging. I mean, we get, we get emails constantly about mini paper pouchers. Now, we didn't call these mini. They're called pint-sized paper pouchers. So they're pints. And gee, I don't know who part, who we know from England that would be an influence on me that would make me think of pint size, right? I'm from South Louisiana. I would have gone with petite. If Jen wasn't in my ear, uh, not in my ear, if Jen and I had a conversation about what we should call them, and you know, I'm like, petite, baby, minis. And she's like, oh my God, I got it, Nicole pint size yes because the paper pouncers being peas pint size paper pouncers i love it so guys that's about it for tonight these are up on the website okay now they are on pre-order so if you purchase these and you buy other things your entire order is going to be held okay but if you order the paper pouncers in one order, right? And other products in a second order, your second order is going to ship, right? Just the order with your paper pouncers, because they're not here yet, they, they're still stuck on a boat somewhere. Um, we, are, we have those orders, but that's why we're having you order them separately. You either order them separately and they, we hold that order, or you can choose to order it together, but we're holding the entire order this time until um, the pouncers come in. And don't, and don't worry. As soon as these come in, 